Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar! Welcome back everybody to the channel. Today is February 19th, 2020. We're going to be looking at the Syrian civil war, everything that's happening on the front line, everything that's happening politically. And we have, just like yesterday, we have tons of news politically. Uh, and I actually want to start off this video with this clip. Yeah, this is pretty much summing up the discourse between our nations right now. Russia and the US are literally butting heads in Syria, and it's kind of embarrassing to see them like that. It's like they don't even recognize how much of an influence they have in that region. They're just, eh, eh, whatever. Well, let's uh, start off on the front line, which is going to be in Torafat. The only news we see here, other than the artillery bombardments, which are daily and happen every day for the last two years, we see the Turkish army ordering their FSA soldiers, um, which are north of Torafat, to get ready prepared uh, to enter Idlib. So probably supporting the HTS, making sure that the Assad army will not be pushing any more further into Idlib. And if we go south into Aleppo, just like yesterday, we don't see any ground movement, but we do see bombardments. Why are they bombarding this area? Um, I've, changed my, I've changed my speculation because if we see here, they could totally cut off the Afro region from the Idlib region. But the problem with that is if they do that, they're literally gonna be surrounded by three sides just like how they took aleppo a couple days ago so i don't know if they're gonna be pushing into it i think bombarding it with our with airstrikes and artillery is probably the best bet because that's where all the reinforcements of the fsa and the hgs are going to be so yeah I would, I would just expect that they're going to be bombing that area and besides there's there's some cities within that area but aleppo was the big win that was the major thing that they wanted to isolate which they did successfully i don't see why they would um, go with the momentum and just push into the countryside. I don't think that's necessary right now. Regardless, if you go south, again, along the M5 highway, but just about 20 kilometers west of that, we see um, next to Sarakib some some more uh, bombings. Again, I, I, I mean, this is like yesterday they were bombing this area, but it looks like it's sort of slowed down. But in my opinion, if we are going to be expecting any more assaults in the, in the next month or so, I would say that it would definitely start in Sarakib. Again, we have this pocket down here. It's a large pocket, uh, granted, but we do see that there's reinforcements entering Sarakib right now, and it looks like they're going to be going towards Eraha uh, uh, pretty soon. So we'll see. This month, I would I would speculate, yeah, they're going to be entering Eraha and uh, trying to cut off that that pocket down there. Anyway, that is it for the front line in the Aleppo region. As we saw a couple days ago, it was really really big, but now things have slowed down. And when we move a little bit west. We're now in Manbij, and what we see here is uh, some more skirmishes between the FSA, which are that Turkish proxy, and the SDF uh, military council that's in Manbij. Uh, it does not look like the SAA, the Syrian regime army, is helping them out right now, but I would imagine if the FSA do push into that territory, that the SAA would react as well. So. I don't see anything, uh, any major offensive happening in that region, but still we do see some videos of it, which is the one that I'm sharing right now. Very intense as we see. This is the artillery, and I can't imagine what it's like to be those soldiers right now. Uh, a little bit further on to the to the west, we see an Ainisa and uh, Tall Tamer, just these uh, sort of the edges of this uh, territory ruled by the Turks right now. They are being bombed by mortars and artillery. And this isn't new, but yesterday we did see that it sort of ceased a little bit, or two days ago. So, kind of something new. I would not expect that to mean that they are pushing into that territory. I would just expect this is just regular skirmishes that happen. And the only other news we have is from Kamishlo, with that road incident between the Russians and the US that I showed at the beginning of this video. Yeah, uh, I mean, it's just embarrassing, like I said. Also, if you are looking into joining the YPG, which I know a lot of my followers are, especially from my past videos, um, I, like, I'm not going to say not do it, but I do want to quote almost uh, some people that know about that situation and are from the U.S. government. They're saying, look, it's a gray area. If you go to the YPG, we don't know if we're going to be supporting the YPG a year on from here. We might be supporting Turkey. So... Uh, just be careful about going over there again because, you know, it's a gray area. And if you are fighting the Turks, you are fighting against U.S. interests, which can result in you going to prison. Now, we have never seen a U.S. citizen going into jail because they fought with the YPG. But, um, I mean, again, this is just a gray area. I would be careful. And that is why if I were to ever go back, I would probably wait a couple months or a year or whatever, how long it takes to make sure that it's okay with the U.S. And this is based on uh, some political news that we got today, which is, 
that the U.S. is telling the YPG, if you do support Assad in Aleppo, and if you do support the Mental Rafah, and you fight against the Turks, we will not support you. The U.S. right now is siding with Turkey. They're trying to get any involvement with Syria without actually putting troops on the ground, which means, hey, I mean, Turkey is not our best friend, but we can support them because they are fighting against Assad and Russia, which Russia and the U.S., if we saw anything from that clip, they're the ones that are really duking it out right now. So the U.S. is siding with Turkey in this, and they're telling the YPG, do not fight with this or we will stop supporting you. What that means, I don't know. Uh, does that mean that they're going to give up on the Deir Ezzor operations, keep it nice at bay? I don't know. So anyway, that is all the news I have for today. I will be here tomorrow, so stay tuned, subscribe. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like. If you didn't, a dislike is fine as well. And I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Peace.